Welcome to another episode of Commission Thursday. I hope you are doing well. So turn with me in the book of Proverbs chapter 28 verses 1. And the scripture says, The wicked man flees, though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as lion. Two things I wanted to understand. There is a first category of people. The scripture says, the wicked. And these people run away without anyone pursuing them. The question is, why are they running away? So probably we can assume because of the guilt, condemnation, or probably they've done something that is not right and they're just on the run. Then there is another category of people. The scripture says the ratios. Now, these people, they, the scripture called them as bold as lion. Why do we call them as bold as lion? Because these people, they have the right standing with God. And because they have the right standing of God, uh, now they are bold as lion. The reason why they are, they are bold is because, number one, they have the firm foundation that is anchored on Jesus Christ. And this firm foundation makes them to stand in whatever they believe. And number two, they know that their future is secured because everything about them is concealed in Jesus Christ. Now, when we look at our generation right now, I can assure you, we have so many wicked people, people who have no purpose, people who are always on the run, people who want to fit in, people who want to be counted, people who want to trend. And because of these particular trends and things that we observe in our nation, it's the high time that we need the racial people to rise. And the scripture says that the racials are as bold as lion. So my question is, are you the wicked or are you the racials? Because if you are the racials, number one, you will stand for the will of God. And if you stand for the will of God, I know you will stand to challenge the opposition or to challenge the status quo. And that's why we always air this every Thursday, just to tell you to come out of your comfort zone, to be the light, to be the salt, or to be the carrier of the message of good news. And for you to do this, you need a form of boldness. Now, this boldness is what helps us to stand out in the world. This boldness is what is helping us to confront the system and the structures of the world. In various places that God has planted us, we need this kind of boldness. And this boldness is because we know that everything we do is anchored on Jesus Christ. So this particular week, I want you to understand that because you are the ratios, you have the resonance of God, be as bold as lion. Challenge the things that are attending in this world. It, mean, it, might be, uh, it might take you to write down something, it might take you to air out something, or to challenge a structure, but step out, be as bold, because you've been empowered to change the world. And this power that God gave you, this sacrifice that Jesus Christ make it at the cross, let us make it count by living a life that is worthy of the calling by confronting the things of this world until we become the light, the salt, and the carrier of the message of good news. And everybody is able to read on this, uh, this message. Be blessed.